disappointing day, unfortunately for us. We felt we had a good plan going into it, and we didn't even uh, come close to getting the level of execution that we were expecting. Um, you know, I would say that today, though, was kind of a, a mixture of everything. Uh, I would say the only bright spot of the day where I thought our special teams played pretty solid. You know, Josh Watts is doing his job. Um, we didn't have many kickoff returns uh, or punt returns. They had a good kicker as well. Uh, so there was kind of an even 50-50 deal. Um, but the problem was we, we struggled. You know, we struggled even on defense today. It was, it was both, though. You know, obviously, obviously, we've had most of our issues been mostly offensively driven. But, um, you know, there were some things that we unfortunately uh, couldn't create the continuity and the efficiency that we needed. We had a couple of scoring drives, which was good. But, you know, we had other opportunities to really do some positive things, and we didn't do it. And it wasn't just Brendan. You know, they, they hardly pressured us, and yet he was under pressure. A lot. You know, they had just normal four-man rush, and he was under pressure a lot. So it wasn't just about Brennan. So we were some issues in protection. It was an issue with our run system. Um, so it was, it was a number of things, people. It really was today. You know, Brennan still has a lot to learn. He'll continue to grow. And, uh, but right now, there's so many things that we need to, to fix right now you know, on both sides of the ball. I thought off, defensively there were some positive things, but, you know, there were some things that we did le leave out there you know, where we had some opportunities to get off the field and we didn't. Um, I have to give 15 a lot of credit. He's a really good player. You know, they threw it up to him and he highballed a lot and came down with a great coverage was on him with the corners were right there with him. But guess what? He's, he's six, four and a half, six, five, probably has 40 inch vertical and, he, and it showed, you know, was, he, that quarterback's a really good player. You know, I, I think those are really kind of the differences of the game. You know, he, he kind of broke the game open a little bit with, with what he was doing with great coverage on him. And they had some good runs, and we didn't capitalize where we needed to. So we got to get back to work. A lot of work to do, a lot of things to shore up. There's a lot of different areas, um, as you guys well know. And we'll get back to work. All right, any questions for Coach? I'm sure there are. <laughs> Coach, uh, yeah, obviously Brennan gets a lot of the spotlight there, but as you mentioned, Offensive line, it's not just today. I mean, they've been struggling for a while. I mean, you've got a lot of veterans on that offensive line. I know Jake is you know, technically a freshman, but what's going on with that offensive line? Is it talent? Is it scheme? Like, what do you feel like the issues are there? There is a number of things. There's, there's really not one thing I can put on it, Brian, but it's not playing at a level that it should, given the experience, you know, like you mentioned. So, uh, you know, Frank Phillip just getting back from, from his surgery, you know, he's a little rusty. Um, I think he gave up the first two pressures of the game were from Frank Phillip, and he was a you know really good player for us a year ago. So we're 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 having you know some issues in a lot of areas, and but particularly up front. We, you know, this is going to be a week for us to get back to to really trying to shore up as much as we can before we play uh, Arizona in two weeks. So there's a lot of work for us to do, and we're definitely going to do that. Carl, just broadly speaking, looking at your offense, when you consider the, the scheme and the personnel at your disposal. Do you believe that, that that unit is is capable of kind of rounding a corner at some point this season and, and proving that it, that it can be a unit that moves the ball efficiently downfield? I do. I do. I really do, Justin, because, you know, we're able to – we just we have to find what we do best and really kind of hang our hat with everything, whether what's our best runs, what's our best passes, what's our best protections, what's the best thing for Brendan Lewis. You know, those are the things we're already thinking that way, but apparently, you know, we have to really assess all of that again this week and try to figure out what we can do best. Um, but there's definitely, you know, some issues that we need to, to address and fix, you know, as we move forward here. Yes, sir. Well, in line with some of that, do you, are you concerned that leaving Brandon in could be counterproductive for his future or, is he, or do you want him just to learn from this experience? Say that again. Do you, do you want him to just learn from this experience, the hard knocks experience, or could be leaving him in be counterproductive for his future? You know, that's a, that's a great question because it's, it's a fine line. Sometimes if you pull a guy because, you know, it's like that thing. If he, he plays well, he plays well, all he starts to, you know, maybe doesn't play well and you pull him, then what's that going to do to his confidence, right? So it's a fine line between trying to get him to get through this experience, which there's no other way to do it, to be honest with you. I mean, it's – you can ask the highest level of football right now, all those starting rookie quarterbacks, they got a – I think a one in 14 record between six of them, right? They're all going through this. And part of it is there's no shortcut for it. 
So part of it is you want him to go through it because that's the best way to, if I'm touching that stove and it's hot, oh, I better not touch that again. You know, that's part of this, you know, the thing of, of building the process with the quarterback and in a lot of positions actually. But we, we don't want him to lose confidence that he can play. And, and, and to his credit, he had his best week of work and I mentioned that a number of times this past week leading into this game, but some of it might have showed some. I mean, he hit a couple of passes early, and it was good. But the thing that helps a quarterback is if he feels that he has protection. And that's part of now you got a young guy that's not only learning, but you don't want him to be thinking about whether he's going to be protected or not. So that's another thing that kind of, you know, adds one more element to the issue of what, you know, what his progress. So I'm telling you, we, we have a lot of stuff to work on right now. And it's like, like I said before, it's not just Brendan. There's a lot of stuff that we need to fix because he's got his own things, but we got to, you know, really address the offensive line. We got to address a number of things, what we're doing. And we're, we're going to do that. We're going to work at it this, you know, without a game this week. So we get a chance to really work on some things in practice. Apologize for sticking with Brendan, but even when there's a receiver open, sometimes there's kind of a delay with him getting the ball. Is that something that he shows in practice, or is that maybe just the pressure of the game in which that kind of creates? It's probably a little bit of the pressure of the game, I would say, because in practice, I thought he cut it loose this week. You know, it was so much better. And, you know, some young players, the game's a different element, right? It's a different stage than in practice. And we got to try to continue to build that growth about Treat, it, treat the game like practice, just like what you've done in, you know, on the practice field. So he's still a little gun shy. You know, there's definitely that. But we feel he's going he's gonna to break through this at some point. You know? And, and we got to bring Drew along too. You know, we we got to bring both those guys along. They're both freshmen anyway. And, and we just have to keep progressing through the year. Carl, you, That's the point. You, yeah, you jumped my question on that. I was going to ask about Drew. Oh. And if the plan is still to bring him along, is he the plan B? Do you change that plan B when you go back and look at this now that you get some time to take a break? You know, we're going to do that this week since we have some time this week. So we'll, we'll assess that for sure about, you know, maybe this is a one-two machine now. You know, give both these guys a chance to develop and go. Um, but that's something we will definitely discuss this week now that we have not a game on the, you know, at the end of, uh, the end of next week. We get some more time to really think through this. Yes, sir. Michael Westbrook was here today, and, and, and he's very complimentary of you in his development. A uh, couple of things. Did the receiver on the other side of the field remind you a little bit of him? Absolutely. <laughs> and, yeah. And nothing seems like talent, does it? it? There's, you know, obviously Michael Westbrook was a da very talented player, can really make a lot of plays just like the kid today, Drake London did today. So yes, it was reminiscent in a way of, you know, what, what I, we used to have here. Um, he's a good player. You know, he's a good player. He's uh, very competitive. Um, doesn't matter if someone's hanging on him. You know, he has great focus and concentration. He's strong. He's got great play strength. And, you know, he's already got length and size and plus 40 inch vertical. That, that's almost impossible to cover. He, he came down with a couple of catches today. That was like, wow. That's, you know, I've, I've seen a lot of, I've coached a lot of all pro receivers in the NFL that that was pretty, pretty amazing, you know, so he's, he's a very, a very talented kid. Carl, just a, at the end of the day, you guys scored more touchdowns than you did last week, but I'm curious just what, what your patience level is right now with, with kind of these, these baby steps, this, this little incremental process that the offense seems to be taking, uh, just Again, just having scored more touchdowns than last week, but at the same time not doing nearly enough uh, to put you guys in a position to win games. Definitely, Justin. That's you know, it's it's never enough, right? There's never enough, and and particularly right now, we can't be talking about baby stuff like that anymore. You know, we scored two touchdowns. That's not enough. They scored 37 points. We scored 14. So we we're at that point. There's an urgency about being more productive and more demanding about what we're doing. And not that we haven't done that already. But the pacifier is going to have, to, or the binky is going to have to go. It's going, if you have kids, I've had kids, so. But that's got to go. You know, we got to grow up fast. We got to go. And we, there's only so long you can take those incremental steps like you're saying. And we're at that point right now. This season is, is it's in the balance right now. We have to make a marketable improvement this week. You know, as we go through this, this time of really getting a chance to shore up some issues, we got to make sure that we shore up a lot of those those things this week. With that, 
there's a lot of young guys on this team that you know they're used. No, to, I don't want to use that excuse. No, but I, I mean, what I mean is, there's a lot of guys that have. I guess I'll take out young. There's a lot of guys in this team that are used to being stars on their high school teams. They've, they're, they're now struggling right now. They're not getting the ball, things like that. As you guys lose and struggle, how much of this week is going to be on you and as coaches to try to build these guys up and not lose people? You lose well, their heads. Yeah, yeah, I mean that's the the natural human condition is to start to point fingers or to start to fray. And but I, I think this team understands. I've been truthful to them every step of the way. I haven't sugarcoated anything about whether we're good or bad. It's always the truth, and they'll tell you that right behind you. And they know we got work to do. And they'll come up here and they're going to come up here and talk to you and say, hey, you know, we didn't do enough. We got to do better. And, you know, we all understand that. So there's a level of truth that we, we definitely experience that, that we talk about with this football team. And, no, we don't sugarcoat. And, but we know that we're not going to tear people down for them to lose confidence that they can't do it. But we're going to be hard on the details and hard on what we need to fix. And, and, and they'll tell you when they come up here, we just, we just got to get some things fixed and, and find, you know, find a little bit more about our identity on both sides of the ball. Because this wasn't just offense today. It was a lot of things, even defensively, we, we struggled with in a lot of things. So uh, some of it was great coverage and you still have guys making plays. Uh, but we, we have to be better. No question, we have to be better. Carl. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. Excuse me. Um, I apologize. Not necessary. Um, how much did the hits on Brendan, the penalties, the targeting, the late hit, how much did you factor that in when you started to think maybe we should be getting Drew in some more? Great question. Um, and and but but asking Brendan at the time, he didn't want he didn't want to come out. So in a way, you want your quarterback to have some gutsy about him that he can take a hit and, and move forward and recover from it. So those are positive things that he's growing in this. Now, I'm not happy with it because he's getting exposed. You know, he's getting exposed when unnecessarily when we could be better, right, around him. Those are the things that frustrate me. Um, but for him showing his toughness and, and not wanting to come out and and, and to continue to play forward, those are, those are big growth steps that you want your quarterback to make. Now, I don't want that to be a constant pattern. That's the thing I struggle with as a head coach is that we have to be better around him. You know, we don't want him thinking about protection when his eyes should be downfield looking at receivers. You know, that's, that's the thing that, that's going to cloud his judgment when you're a young guy trying to learn and grow through the college level experience of playing quarterback, we need his eyes downfield. We don't need his eyes worried about whether the right guard is going to block his guy or the left tackle is going to block his guy. So we, we have an all have a level of ownership in this. But I, was, I would say uh, going forward, we're going to continue to you know, try to bring Drew along as well, just because we need to. We have, to, we have the time to, to really get some good reps with both of them this week, and maybe we'll formulate a plan going into the Arizona week as to what we should do for that game. Thanks, Coach. All right. Thank you. Appreciate your patience.